Ole Miss is back for their second game in two days, and the Rebels welcome one of the most successful programs from the Missouri Valley Conference, the Swayze Field. Today, it's the Missouri State Bears. You pay a visit to the Rebels. And we harp a lot about the offense, but the pitching's been good too. What do you want to see from Riley Maddox today? Yeah, I'm really excited to see Maddox. This is a guy a couple years ago came highly touted as a freshman, had a really good year, ended up with Tommy John, but had a shortened campaign last year. So this will be his first year, full year back from that Tommy John as uh, Burford is getting in short right field. Bounced right side and easy for Ross. Steps on third or first and no score through the top half of the first. Hunter Day, no stranger to starts. He started at Tarleton State last year. He was their weekend starter. He had 13 appearances to begin games, but what's the scouting report say on Hunter Day, Matt? Yeah, obviously a veteran pitcher. Gonna be a lot of similarities, minus maybe the velo differential between he and Maddox, but that low three-quarter arm slot Gets under this out to left, carrying back, but Chambers gets under it to make the catch. And in his first season at Missouri State, pass ball, gets to the backstop. Smithwick pursues, Chambers comes home, and the Bears have an early lead. Pitch number 43 upcoming. On the ground left side, past Fisher and into left field, base hit. Kelly hits third, he's on his way home. And Missouri State's up 2-0 here in the second inning. Yanked down the left field line, deep back there, and, got, and down for a base hit. Randall's in the score, as is Groff. Fisher stays put at third. Jackson Ross stays hot. And he hits this one high in the air, left center field. This ball is up against the wall. Ole Miss takes the lead and a little more. Leger puts the Rebels out in front. Gets by Smithwick and in comes Cody Kelly. In the air left center field, McCutcheon ranges over and drops the ball. Randall around third, hustling home. No way. Just talked about it at the opening frame. Ole Miss got a chance to really seize momentum in this one. Right back to him. But a Taylor made double play maybe. Step on, on second base. And turned by Missouri State. Run comes in. Hughes scores. Off the end of the bat. And Schaaf off the mound. Markle comes home, he touches home plate. Scores for Ole Miss, 7-3 ball game. And Groff knocks this to center. In comes Randall, and it's an 8-3 ball game. Him pop, just to be able to catch him popping off the dugout, trying to get his guys going, and they've responded extremely well. That gets away from Leach, and in the scores, Groff. On the ground to first. Tricky hop for Kelly. Flips to first, not in time. See how Cyberson attacks Hughes after a bunch of off-speed stuff. Line drive to right and gets down. Markle's in the score. Has his Leger. Yeah, can't do that. Off the end of the bat. Picked up off the dirt, throw to first in time. Ball game and another dominant win for Ole Miss. 12-3 winners over Missouri State tonight and Ole Miss has won four straight games.